areas around Winford Brook and the River Chew in Chew Magna are prone to flooding. When the alarm is raised, Lynn Easton coordinates a team of flood wardens who leap into action to help protect both people and property. Okay, Lynn, tell me the story of last Monday. What happened? Well, last Monday we had an alert. So first thing I'd do is to email around all the wardens. We've got about 20 of them, and I see who's available. Some of them are neighbourhood wardens, so they work in their own neighbourhoods, and they look after the people in there. And the advantage of that is that they know who the vulnerable people are. And the vulnerable person might be somebody who's elderly, but it might equally be somebody whose partner's away, so they're on their own and can't put the floodboards up. So they know their own neighbours and they look after them. They know their own neighbours, and it's all confidential right. around yeah. their own area. And you have already flood defences in all the properties, is that yes, right, the vulnerable the properties? properties? That, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And um, on Resilience Day, which this year was in September, we checked all those, all the check their own properties so everyone knows where the screws and the fittings are for their board. So like a dry run really? A dry run right. and uh, knows that the pumps work and we sometimes yes. mend yes. pumps, so things like that. And then on Monday, so what time did things start getting worrying? Um, it was in the afternoon, we were lucky in a way because often this happens at night and we're out in the early hours but this time we got plenty of warning so during the day we were setting up properties with their flood boards. And then it got heavier and heavier and just got worse and worse. But what happened then was that the roads flooded really badly. Yeah. And so the wardens who'd been out all day doing this were then on managing traffic duty because it was absolutely chaotic. Yes. All the roads um, leading out of the village were flooded. But what happened here was really good. Recently we've had repairs done on the footpath that leads up to the fields. And we use natural flood management methods to do that and so it didn't flood in front of the school. So that actually really helped? It really helped. Oh, that's interesting. And um, we were able to get the children out this way, whereas normally we'd have had to have done it a couple of hours before yeah. and they would be wading through water. So although it was flooded down here, all along yes, here, yes. Um, actually in front of the school was clear uh, and we managed to evacuate them and into where, where the did they go? Room. They went to the old oh, school. Oh, OK, OK. And yeah, then yeah. their parents came and collected them Brilliant. from there. Brilliant, Brilliant. Yeah, so okay. that worked really well. And so, I mean, this is a testament to what you flood wardens do, isn't it? It really? really is. They're a great team. And the other thing we've got that helps us now is that we've got a telemetry device both on the river and the brook, and that sends out signals and tells us how fast it's rising. So people can dial into that, and as well as the wardens, local residents can see where the river and the brook are. And that's really helpful because you're not having to get up in the night and keep going out right. and doing a visual check. So anyone who has an app or whatever yes, it is can... Yes, it's on a telephone. You just message it through I your see. telephone. Uh, okay. Yeah, so oh, that's brilliant. been amazing. Brilliant. Yeah. And do we have very vulnerable residents around here? I mean, we old have people? Quite, well, it's quite difficult putting floodboards up. They're quite difficult, especially in the wind, to put up. So it's not that they're terribly vulnerable, but we do have people who are older, we have people living on their own, we have people with children. So all those people need help. And also, it's just worry. And I suppose yes. having someone there to say, we're sorting it, yes. don't worry, yes. is a big thing. Yes. Yeah. The other thing we do is we've got a flood phone with a single number, and it's a single point of contact. So whoever's coordinating me on Monday has the flood phone. So that number is known to everybody, but also to outside agencies. So if Bain's emergency team want to ring me, which they do, they'll phone me on that phone. And if it's not me, it'll be another coordinator. Right. So it's just a single point of it's contact. It's a really simple thing. And that yeah. has been invaluable Brilliant. because Brilliant. people are often wondering who to contact in the yes. village yes. when they're coming to help. Brilliant. Well, well done. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much well, for keeping us safe. <laughs> and we're doing, well, some of you were doing leaf clearance today we're as well. leaf clearing today. I yeah. mean, that's what's brilliant. The yeah. whole village yeah. gets involved and they, we clear drains to give ourselves the best chance of not flooding. Mm.